Hey guys, welcome back. Quick look at the current status on my flight test Versa wing. So guys, if you didn't see the earlier video on this, this is my flight test Versa wing made with three sheets of dollar store foam board. I drastically underestimated the power of building with foam board. This thing is just simply amazing. I thought I'd give you a quick look at where we sit. Last time it was plain white. We didn't have the FPV gear in. Now I've added some visibility stripes for line of sight flying. Trust me guys, you need as much as you can get for visibility on these when you get out to a lo longer range line of sight. It's very difficult to tell orientation. I did the same on the bottom, not much to it. My 3D printed mount here. We'll go ahead and take a closer look at some of the items on board. So guys, up front I have the GoPro Hero 2, a good cheap action camera. It happens to be really good ballast for the front end. These things need a lot of nose weight. I have a $13 eBay special FPV camera. Here's the GPS antenna for the Remzibi OSD. Uh, I have it actually protruding out through the top because I found foam board actually cuts down the signal quite a bit. So I found it a lot better when I stick it through the top. Over on this side, I have an access hatch here to my FPV transmitter. I keep the transmitter way over here and all my receiving items on the far side. This is the antenna for the FlySky receiver and transmitting to that, I'm using the TH9X, which is just a fantastic radio. I super tickled with it. Out back, I showed you this before, I have a 3D printed motor mount. I'm running a motor here, an A2212, 1000 kV. I find this is a little underpowered. This is a standard quadcopter motor. I would go with something a little bigger downrange, but I haven't bothered yet. But basically, that's the externals in a nutshell. Let's have a look inside. In the front here, not much to it. I just used some Velcro uh, that I got from the dollar store to hold down the battery. For a battery, I'm using the 3300 three cells, 3.3 amp hours. In this case, this is the Turnigy pack. Love this. It's working great. Tons of power. Uh, more than enough to get a good long flight. I can't tell you how long I can fly yet because I haven't maxed one out. In the back here under this flap, we have the Remzib OSD our speed control and then tucked up under here is the standard RC receiver. Yeah, the finish is absolutely horrible. This is just packing tape on here. It's absolute crud. But that's the beauty of it. This plane is just tough as nails. I have crashed the heck out of this thing already, mostly due to bad launches. And if you haven't seen some of my videos, well, here's a couple of highlights of some of the crashes. Uh, pretty tough plane. It it does extremely well. I, I just can't believe it. In the front end, all I've done is this uh, duct tape, this clear duct tape as, a, as reinforcing, and it has stood up extremely well. Between that and the 3D printed mount below, I have yet to contact the lens on either camera in the crashes. Unbelievable. It's not even weak yet. It's still strong here. I, considering the punishment I've already put it through due to a poor CG problem and poor throws on the control surfaces, I, I'm just simply amazed. One last tip on that, something I've learned. I used the heavy duty uh, reinforced packing tape, the clear duct tape, all across basically all the main surfaces, including the control surfaces. And I thought I did a really good job of uh, having it so the throws would work good. What I found last night is that I was getting binding. And what I did is I just took and ran a screwdriver down and broke a bunch of the fibers that are part of this, uh, this clear duct tape. And now my control surfaces are totally free and just work amazing. I can't wait to test this out because I know that was really limiting the last flight. In a nutshell, guys, that is the Flight Test Versa Wing. Three sheets of dollar store foam board you can get in the air. Some basic electronics. You don't need to do the blunt nose version. Uh, you can remove this and just butt the wings right up and have a standard Versa. I, I can't believe how well it works, guys. Simply amazing for how easy it is to assemble and how cheap a gear you can put in it and get into the air. I advise anyone build one. 
more flight video on this coming up. I can't wait to bring you some FPV proximity flying with the two other flyers that I have local to me who have built these as well. Guys, if you're shy about getting into RC or FPV, you can't go wrong with the Flight Test Versa Wing or any of the other Flight Test models. They're simply amazing. Good luck in all your electronics and RC ventures. Remember, click the thumbs up down below if you like this video. Guys, it really helps the channel. Cheers.